So we're in the orchard grass field now, taking a look at this one just across the road from the winter wheat field. And again, the same thing on the orchard grass fields, um, the orange tag blends, they've also been set back enormously compared to last year um, when we had virtually no um, night frost at all in the month of February. And then this year we got nailed twice with those two big winter storms. So again, the grass as well too has gone dormant, but none of the grass is really dead. It's all there. If you were to peel it back and take a look at it, all the uh, crowns on the grass plants are white like onions and they're basically in good health. It's just a, they're set back. And the problem now is the next two weeks on the weather forecast, it's supposed to get colder again as well during the nighttime and maybe a chance of flurries again. So it's going to be warmer during the daytime, but we're still not really out of the winter, which is what we desperately need to get all these fields up and growing. And a lot of guys' manure pits are getting full now too, but this field again too is extremely wet and soft, and you probably won't be getting on this field for two weeks without doing any damage. So again, we gotta be, um, be a little bit cautious coming on here and doing some compaction damage on these fields. So again, most of your grass fields look in pretty good shape. Probably a good year to rotate some fields around. If you have a field like this that's four or five years old, it's been set back a lot from the winter. So maybe a year like this year's year, you say, you know what, I'm just gonna rotate this one around, take the first cutting grass off here, plow it up, put it into corn, take one of my corn fields, and then plow that one up and throw that in new seeding grass. So it's a time to move things around. You can also overseed a field like this probably around the um, middle of March you want to come in here and you can overseed as well and they'll give you an extra year's growth on it as well. So a lot of the fields have been set back from the winter. They're not dead at all. They're going to be coming along in the next two or three weeks. You can see them greening up. Um, so I guess the biggest message is maybe hang in there. We will be um, heading into spring here shortly and the grasses should be greening up. <laughs>